times I step in between trouble and the person because it scares them. I will always be the person that I am. I don't know how to change. I don't rearrange the parts of my brain that work for me. I always working over time Who do you become when you think that who you are is not enough How do you fight that How do you fight back when people you love make fun of the beliefs you have what do you do when they make fun of you? It's easy to quote that old thing that says what people believe about me doesn't, it's none of my business. It may be none of my concern, but it'll put a frown on my face. Because it takes something away from the relationship that I thought we had in place. And I don't know what to do when someone that I had respect for turns a shade of green and blue and they abandon what they believe in. It hurts sometimes to look around and see the changes that have happened in our minds. And I wish that I could change that back and have the chance to have a chat. But that doesn't seem to work. People dig their heels in even deeper than they had them dug in before. And it's not that I'm trying to change their minds, just open them a little crack so they can hear what I stand for. Why do we reach out to one another if we're not going to listen. Why do we hasten to be friends together and then talk about each other? It is a heartbreaker when people let you down. And I imagine there are lots of folk that I have let down a number of times. I am certainly far from perfect. I don't, I don't propose, purport, purport. I don't uh, assume, I do not think that I am perfect, that I am, that my strong will means I'm right. It means that it's right for me, and that's all. What is right for me? I will hang on till my dying breath. 
Because I feel that I've been called to serve in special ways to me. And I will honor those and I will answer for them when I die. I'm not afraid of that. Because I know we have a just God. And if I've behaved in ways that were not just or fair, then I deserve whatever I get. I think the hardest thing for me would be to be separated from my God. Because for me hell isn't a place necessarily. It's being separated from God that would be hell for me if I couldn't talk to the author of eternity but I talk to him and I think he listens or she listens or whoever listens maybe it's a eunuch you know like not a he or she eunuchs are in the Bible Yep. Don't call people eunuchs today. Sometimes life just is, and it just is. We can't make things happen. We can't change some things that have happened. Wish, wish in this hand, and let reality come into this hand. And which one goes down fastest? Yeah. Wishing, though, doesn't mean that we can't speak to people, talk to people in the future, make things better. Thanks for listening. Take care. Have a good night.